Hi, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach Java beginner tutorial. Those who want to beginner of Java, so how to write the Java programming step by step. I will teach you the step by step. So here, this is my blog Tutors Funny. Go here, here if you move the cursor on Java link, say Java for beginners, you will click on this one. So go to the, it will be go to the respective website for Java for beginners. Okay, so here, why Java be, become a best programming language? Click on this one, it say everything. Okay, because why Java become best programming language? Because Java is a platform independent language. Platform independent programming language. Platform independent programming language means you can you can run it on any operating system. If you are run the program Windows up, uh, Windows machine, you can run it on Linux 2, that's a platform independent. It will be support all platforms. Okay, it's an option oriented. It is a must. Okay, so distributed app application, it's a multi threads, networking, reliable, multi thread, all the things support in Java. Okay, right. This is the this this why Java become famous. Right. So here another one. What are the best editors for used to write the Java program? Intel J is a best editor, industrial best editors, Intel J idea. This is the best editor for writing the Java. After the Eclipse, after that NetBeans ID. Okay. So first, if you are a beginner, you have to write the programming starting from NetBeans ID. Okay. After you are familiar on the NetBeans ID, you have to go, go and move into the Eclipse and Intel J idea. These are the best three editors used to write in Java. Uh, as a beginner, now if you are starting your beginning uh, journey from Java, just a beginner, you starting from Notepad. Because not why I am telling starting from Notepad is okay. Notepad, which the button and uh, button and uh, text boxes and all the stuff you have to learn how to create the create by the code. Okay, it is very easy. If you are if your code you, you you can you will be able to write the code to create the button and all if they are getting any error of using this id you can manage it okay if you have to starting the java from the notepad after if your family is the notepad you would go more into this fin it means idea after the eclipse after that if you are good developer you have to move into the intel gi right okay. now first this is why this is why java become famous okay these are the reasons platform independent object oriented Okay, distribute this all the stuff. Java become famous. Right now, let's move into here. Java, Java Hello World program with basic exercises. Right, I did some of the basic exercises. These are must. Let's write the Hello World in Java. So, how to write the Hello World program in Java? Right. So here, let's open the editor for my. Uh, it's a uh, not uh, this one. NetBeans ID, create new project, choose as Java with Java application, click next. If here you have to check it on create main classes, Java exercise, EX1. This is a class, E exercise. Finish it. Okay. This is how we have created the console application in Java. That you can see here, this is a console application is created. Okay, this is a folder where your console application is created, right? So this is the class name. It will be automatically generated. Okay, if you want to write, you will be able to write here. Okay, very simple. Uh, here, how to write this one in the uh, Notepad? I'll be explaining it. So here, very simple. You have to get the Notepad and write it first. Here, I'm, I write it here. This here, you can see public class. Here you have to write a camel case. Java here class name which is a E X one. Okay, you have to start with the capital letter. This is must, right? After open curly bracket and close curly bracket, right? If the close bracket is open and close it. Inside the method you have to write the main method. So I'll write public static void main. You have to write string. Array, ARG. Okay, this is case sensitive. You can see here, this all are capital. If 
start with sim okay sorry capital simple this start with capital okay this is array okay string array okay so all the what is your typing here it will be stored in the string array and so here after that open curly bracket and close curly bracket here we have tried the hello world programming this is our system so we have tried system out dot print ln here you write hello hi a simple okay this is simple one this is how we have tried okay here the system this is our computer system i'm going to print out hi that's why i am saying this i will be storing the uh, this one string array it will be executed and run the uh, display the say, display the monitor as high message okay this is a class okay, it's a class class consists of name okay ex1 which in every class has a name okay the same thing it will be generated by the code okay right now here yeah, i'm going to write it string system dot out dot print ln hi if you are run it on it will display the output as a console application below you can see the output as a console application below it will running this is the console you will be able to see the hi will be displayed you can see the hi will be displayed on the console application below here yeah. I will be displayed successfully. Right? This is how we have displayed the uh, we have to write the hello world program. Right? Very simple. Okay? It will be displayed successfully. Right? Okay. Now uh, I have this is this is the hello world program. I have a given example. The simple hello world program I have written. Right? I think if you all learn about this one, so you have to run the basic one. Okay, after that, here the second example. You have to write it like this. So this all the syntax must right here. You can see the see the things right. So here I'm writing like this. This also coming from your exam, but it's output. That's why I get get a class like this. Okay. Hi. Right. So today I have did this lesson in my class. That's why I have I have planned to doing in my channel right. So after that this time. Okay, so I'll write it on the right asterisk, 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 asterisk. You also asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. Speed, if you run it, you can see the like, output. Oh, very simple. Right? Okay, right. After that, I'm going to go to the Let's write the fourth example. This one. Yeah, just copy and paste it, and I'll write this one. And explain it. So here it's sort of covered. First, first you have one symbol. After that, you have to copy and paste it over here. Second asterisk over here. Copy and paste it. Third asterisk. Paste here. Fourth asterisk. Copy and paste it, paste out, flip the exit, fix it. Asterisk. So if you run run the output, you can see here. Yeah. It will be asked the question. How to uh, the all the exams are com coming from this? Can you write the code? They showing the output and they they are telling to write the code. So you have to write the code look like this. Very simple. Right? Okay, this don't worry. This all the source code where they are. So I'll be, you just copy and paste and run it, run it on. Okay, so second one, this one, this names. I just copy down and paste it over here. You will be see here. John, Peter, Steve, James and Jim. These are the names I'm going to print out line by line. So. So they are they are they are given the output and telling to write the code. So the simple code here system out dot println john. 
after that second line peter steve james and jim okay this one we have to do it at array it's very simple so it's as a basic you have to write like this as a basic okay right after that what you are going to do is another one this one you are just copy and paste it you can see the output the different different output okay this is the this is important stuff when you are creating the print receipt if you are writing this this is this all a must if you are moving to the advanced java step uh, if you are doing the inventory management system point of sale system uh, while making the program you have to create the print receipt in your program so print, when you are preparing the print receipt you have to under uh, you have a good uh, good understand so how to create the print receipt so this is this all the things are must so if you are run the program you can see here output here here are spaces this are receipt okay so here i'm going to something modify that you just copy it and paste below now you can see the output now you can see the output look like this so now i am going to modify the program little bit uh, here in between the here i am going to bit modify here now you can see the output yeah. okay this is very helpful for you all to create the print receipt okay if you have something printed you can you have to learn this one you have our here spaces these are the create the spaces here okay. so type the Peter, okay, you have to okay, leave the spaces like this, right? Perfect. Now let's back to the practical lesson. Right, this is a basic exercises. Let's back to the Java variable. Okay, what is the definition of variable? variable which is given as a vari uh, the data which given as a variable should store as a temporary in the memory the okay, variables are used to store the value in the memory not permanently it's store as temporarily the memory uh, log uh, the uh, data will be stored in the memory as temporary location is called as variable the data which given as a variable should store as a temporarily in the memory it's called as a variable Okay, I have explained it clearly. After that, how to declare the variable declaration? First, you have to understand the variable name, data type, and value. This is must. Okay, so here, this is the variable declaration. Vari first one, data type. What's the data type you have to use? It. Okay, if it is a string, string means it is a names. Java is a programming name. The, what is the places? That is uh, the places. Okay, but it's a uh, India is a place, which is a string. So it will be stored as a string data type. If it is a number, it is stored as an int data type. If it's a double, it's a pointing value stored as a double or float data type. Okay, okay. Every data, the data type should be changed, right? If it is a number, different one. If it is a the pointing, it's this different one. If it is a uh, text type values, which is a names like this, that one also. Uh, belongs to the category belongs to string so data type string variable name it's a value java okay here yeah. this one should be int so because it's a number it's a valid variable variable name you can give an any any variable name over here a b c all any name you can given but you can't uh, give the variable name as a number okay it's wrong okay only we have to give the text as a variable okay what is done is here if you are type string name java the java will be assigned to the name the 10 will be goes to a the 200 500 to this one this value goes to the b okay this is the thing right so role of the variable variables okay the variable can't start with the numbers space cannot be given in the way within the name any syntax cannot be given Predefined keyword cannot be. What's a predefined keyword not given? This one you have to understand. What's a predefined? Predefined keyword mean Java has a some key free, free, uh, predefined keywords. Final, final. This also 
private. This is also predefined keywords, right? So you don't create the variable name on the predefined keywords. Okay, there's a predefined keyword. They are the Java writers are put some keywords. So don't create a variable with such a keyword. Okay, keep in your mind. But that's a different variable creation. Let's go to the another thing is uh, operators. This is the uh, some part, right? Here, Java is another important stuff. Okay, so these are all the things you have to learn, but I have to give the some brief. That's why I am reading uh, quickly. Okay, if you are reading, if I explain the story by story and uh, doing this one, you uh, you are so boring. So that I have to do this lesson like this, right? Uh, here, there are four operations in Java, operators in Java. One is a arithmetic operators, logical operators, assign operators. Assignment operators, relation operators. This one is the in incremental and decrement operators. This is the example, right? This four one is a essential one, right? First, have we have look at the arithmetic operators? Okay, this one we have. You are doing the calculator program in Java, inventory management system in Java. All the calculation part done by the arithmetic operators. You can't. Uh, you, you, if you don't know what is the arithmetic operator, you can't do the Java program. Not Java program, you don't do any program. So you have to learn arithmetic, arithmetic, arithmetic operator. Here. Okay. What are the sim signs are there on the arithmetic operator? The start with plus. This one you have to call that addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and module. These are the signs are there. Okay. You keep in your mind. On arithmetic operator. The example, you can see the example. So this one, I just copy and paste it. We have to run it on this variable. I create the integer variable. First one should be the int x, int y, x equal 50, y equal 6. So here, x. This this you have created the variable x. You have to get it here. You can write over here if you if you like. You can write it here. If you, if you are confusing, you have to write 50 equal 6. That's it. No problem. Right? It's very simple. Right? Okay. Int x equal 50. X y equal 6. The x is assigned to x. Uh, 50 is assigned to x. 6 is assigned to y. So you have to print out. System out of printer and x plus y. What is the answer will be 50 plus 6. The answer will be 56. 50 plus 6. So 50 plus 6 answer will be 56. Second one 50 minus 6. What is the answer will be 44. Right? After that 50 divided by 6. We have division. Okay, so one of the sign I forgot it. So, so multiplication forgot it. After that, module. Module mean reminder. Okay, here reminder mean here. Take example if 10 to 9. So what happened? 2 9 means it's a reminder. You have to put the reminder mark. Okay. Uh, reminder. So what happened? 2 goes to 9 4 times 2 2 2 into 4 what is the answer 8 so 1 will be the reminder that's the called as reminder okay that's the called as reminder right so what is the output over here you can see the output okay right after that this example over the second example Okay, this one the second one i just copy this one from the field copy back to here so paste it over here the same thing it's a different one okay you all the first things you have to do so hint x int y so i have created the two integer variables x is alt 20 y is alt 10 okay so 20 is assigned to the x 10 is assigned to y so we have to print out system.out.println 
x plus y equal this is a this is the what is the operator of this one is a concatenated operators it is combined both okay this is this is the this is a text okay this combined both okay so that's why you have right okay this answer is this answer is like this you can write it here so if you have to here so right here this answer is this is called as a plus sign if you have put it here this is a text plus this is the variable declare this is the variable calculation so text plus variable calculation you have to see the operators here what is the operators we are using this is called concat concatenated operator is combining both that is the meaning of that you have to understand right this one the same thing we have uh, the i have why i put it this one is uh, this operators i have to explain it's the concatenated operator okay this answer will be same x plus y this one 20 plus 10 30 minus it 10 okay the same answers if you execute the program you can see right same. okay only the is a this is a concatenated operator we have to use third example you have to create here i have created different one yes the different i have created this all things are you must learn for your program you must learn this all the stuff x equal 20 y equal 10 z equal to uh, 30 right x is uh, 20 is assigned to x 10 is assigned to y 30 is assigned to z so system dot out dot print x plus y the x plus y 30 will be the answer x y z the, this one 30 30 it's a 60 will be the answer so this is how we have to do the calculation part of arithmetic property you can see here okay you have to put it and calculate okay x plus z x 20 z 30 what will be the answer x minus z minus x what will be the answer 30 minus 20 what will be the answer you have to think and do it okay right this all a must if you are become a good programmer okay this is a basic one is a must right after that we have to we have a this is this example is enough for to learn arithmetic operators okay so i have given the projects okay student marks calculation project in my uh, m now let's discuss about the logical operator logical operators and and or and not operators and operator mean if both condition true it will be work or operator mean if the one condition true it will be work okay if the both condition is be true and operators work that is one condition is true or operator works right so let's see the example this is the example i just copy and paste it then you will be able to understand copy it paste it over here this is the and operator right so here x equal 20 y equal 10 so here uh, 20 is x 20 okay so what is x here x or the value 20 greater than 2 so 20 greater than 2 condition is true you have to use the and operator over here okay you have to use and operator you can see the and operator right so you can see the and operator right here y greater than 2 so y or the value 10 so y greater than 10 y greater than 10 so this both condition should be true x mean x 20 greater than 2 is true y y 10 10 greater than 2 because 10 is y is 10 10 greater than 2 is true both condition true it will be working as true here the second one x 20 greater than 2 it's true and y 10 greater than 30 10 not be greater than 30 this condition is false but this is this is true this is false the same thing here third one x 
20 greater than greater than 50 so this condition is false here 10 greater than 10 so this condition is true okay this is the example of and operators apart from this the other hand we have a o operator x greater than 2 condition is true and y greater than 2 the condition is true okay, both condition is true it will be the condition is true okay so after that system out open again x is greater than 2 condition is true and y is 10 greater than 20 condition is this false but it will work because at least one condition is true it will be true okay so if both conditions should be false only it will be false okay so here, here at least one condition is true this condition is true this is false so what is the answer this one will be true so here another one 20 greater than 15 condition will be false again 10 greater than 10 what this condition is true okay, 10 greater than 10 10 greater than 10 the C equal let's see the output the output is here okay it's true All right Okay, this is how the logical operators work, right? I hope you understand the logical operator. This is all the source code, you just copy and paste it and you run the code, right? So again, the same logical operators code I have given. Here, x equal 100, y equal 50. Here, you have tested x, all the value 100, greater than 2, condition is true. y, 50, greater than 2, condition is true. So, the same thing you have to apply here and you have to find it. This, this all the examples are very good examples this output I have given right okay this is simple right after that we have a this of the logical operators work okay right another one we have to talk about the assignment operators what is the assignment operator Oper assignment operator signs are this equal plus equal minus equal multiplication is equal division here, here assignment after division assignment after addition you have to hear this is the assignment operators right the increment operator plus plus minus minus so here the increment here, this is the assignment operator so first you have to copy this one this all the system this is a mask these examples are when you written sit for the exam this all the things are asking you have put this question and asking what will be the answer that time you are struggling. You have to must learn this all the stuff, right? This examples are must get. First, x equal 5, y equal 10. System dot outer. First, you have to print out it. x is 5, y is 10. After time, before increment at this one. After that, it will be increment the value. x plus plus, y plus plus. System dot out dot x plus plus mean it is nothing but x equal x plus 1. Okay, so. What is 5 x what is the value of x 5 plus 1 here now the answer will be 6 y plus y what is the answer will be 10 it is plus answer will be low okay it is nothing but x equal x plus 1 it is nothing but x equal x plus 1 okay this nothing but y equal y plus 1 so you have to write like this very simple you have to understand the text right this is okay right how the same thing you have to do again okay this is simple another example you just go through this example you have to learn okay this all the example I have given you just go through these examples you just go go, go and paste the code and run it and get the output uh, I, I already told the basic of okay the same thing you have to put it here put it and you have to work this all this example is a must you have to go, through, go sit for the exam right so this all the example you go through this examples after the decrement of this let me copy and paste it. this one when we increment it will be decrement so now the at the first time x equal 10 y equal 20 
So if you have print out x 10 by 20 after run the query after that what happen is this one decrement. So out is this nothing but x equal x minus okay okay this one x equal x minus right so what happened what's the answer x x equal x minus one so answer will be nine this one should be z equal z minus one so answer will be 19 okay so it is nothing but x equal x minus one it is nothing but z equal z minus one okay so the answer will be x but the answer will be this is before we calculate the value uh, without calculating the values after calculating the values okay you have to learn this much this is the simple example if you go through this one you have a good uh, you have a good you have gained good knowledge of java right so here these are the some example I have attached you go through this one this is very must this example stuff, right after that we have to go to learn about relational operator what are the relationship between these other signs greater than less than greater than equal less than equal okay equal not equal this all the signs you are right okay here let's go to the one example relation operator x equal 10 z equal 20 so x equal equal x equal y mean what is the answer will be if you execute a program false why x equal z x is equal x what is the uh, uh, value all on x 10 z assigned to uh, 20 assigned to y, uh, z so x is 10 equal 20 so 10 is not equal to 20 okay so answer is false or second one x what's the what is the value all on x 10 10 not equal z so 10 is not equal 20 but its answer is true after that 10 greater than 20 answer is false or 10 less than 20 grant answer is true okay okay this how we have right okay so we have simply you have right here, here 10 x what's the value of 10 10 x is 10 this one should be 20 we have to put it a command so you have to if you write like this you have to easily you have to find the values so 10 if you are here 10 10 x what is the value all on x 10 20 so equal equal is not equal okay this is how we have find the answer very simple when you sit for the exam we have to write like this it's very simple right okay. now let's move into another example right this one should be you have to use it here as well okay, this, this one i already taught uh plus operators okay plus operators and all you have to go through it right these are the examples i have given plus and all the example right uh this all the examples you go through it right Increment and decrement is all the big big example I have given. This is all the example you have to go go it. Okay, there are many examples I have given. Right here, this one. Now I'm going to go to the loops. Loops are used to print the value again by again. In Java, consist of three loops: for loop, while loop, and do while. For loop, we have here. You can see here. I have pasted the code. It will be easy to understand. For loop, it consists of three parts. Initial value 1, this is a condition, this is an increment. So first, what happens is 1 will be printed. Second time, it's go and check the condition. If the condition is true only, it will be printing. If the condition is false, it will be written in the output. Okay, the value will be incremented until the condition is false. So first time, it will be printed out 1. Second time, it will be checked uh, 1 less than 10 this condition is true increment by 1 2 just keep on it printing until the x reach 10 so x less than 10 condition will be false 
So it will be it will be exit the loop and print out the value until one two nine. And that is the things of for loop. Okay. So after that we have read the while loop. That's the same thing. Same thing. You have to do it a while loop. So here we run the run the loop. The same output, but here, right? So here, what happens is first we have to talk it one one. Okay, that one. For no zero, you can. It's not one. Your zero, your code is zero, right? So here, your answer will be first starting. This is the initial value zero. X less than ten. It checks zero is less than it. It's not uh, less than ten, so it will be printed out and increment by one. Okay, it's keep on printing until the value reach ten. So this is the use of while loop, right? So after that. Do while. What is the meaning of do while? The same thing. It will be happen. Only the thing is, okay. It will be first of this initial value after the print out, right? After that, the un, until the condition is false, it will be uh, printing, right? So the what is the uh, different is you can see this is the this is the condition. The condition will be we are written in the end of the code. We have written the condition. It's it is a different. Okay, what is the uh, different between while and do while? The condition will be written in the end of the code. The end of the code here we have written. This is the different between while and do while. Okay, this is these are the things very must, right? So I have given some examples. You have try out this example. This I have try out some example I have given. You go to this example and learn, right? Okay, these are these are the very basic stuff you have to learn. I have given more examples. You just go to my Tutors funny. You go to my channel. Tutors funny here. Java for when you click on this link, you you will be having everything. Okay, this one I'll be talking the Swiss statement later on. These are the things you have to go through and learn. Thank you for watching.